human factor engineering which is one of the key parameter for designing any process plant since piping being the part of process plant designing we have to consider all the factors of human factor engineering so what is human factor engineering is all about every piping design engineer should consider this factor because these are the very mandatory factors that are to be considered in every inch of your design it could be a structural it could be a piping it could be electrical or it could be anything but as long as if you are designing a process plant every inch of your design should have these parameters considered only then you will be able to satisfy the designing parameters of the plant so let's deeply discuss about this human factor engineering first of all we have to understand that piping design engineering is more of a common sense in order to standardize this sense of understanding specifications are made so that's one of the reason why these specifications are strictly pertaining to certain factors that will facilitate the safety of the working personnel who are working in the plant so human factor engineering is all about enhancing the safety for those who are working in a plant let me put it in this way as simple as it because if you have a plant designed without safety and it's not an operable plant because nobody wants to lose their life so we have to design any plant considering the human factor engineering let's list out uh, what are the major factors which are uh, the part of human factor engineering see human factor engineering it revolves around three major parameters the first parameter is safety and the second parameter is accessibility and the third parameter is operability but these are the parameters we have to keep in our mind in while designing every inch of our design during the heat of the project we may not be able to focus on the human factor engineering but that leads to a major change at the later part of design though it looks very simple but it's not as simple as you think while you are progressing or developing your engineering design so let's discuss and understand little bit about this human factor engineering so as i said it revolves around the three major factors safety accessibility and operability so what is safety is about imagine you have a valve which is at the height of 6 meter and you have provided a platform to operate this valve but however when the operator reaches to the platform and understood that this valve is not near anywhere near to the platform he has to extend his hands uh, in order to access the valve in order to touch the valve so first of all it's not only about accessibility there is no safety for him imagine that the operator trips and falls down to the ground if while trying to access the valve is it going to justifying the design see when you are not able to save a person when you are not not able to create a platform or a plant which is safe enough for a working professional then you are actually failed as a design engineer this is one simple case let me give you another simple case actually imagine that you have rooted a line at the height of 1.8 meter from the grade or any accessible platform and imagine that is right in front of the walkway an operator walks and if you don't uh, uh, what he call if you don't see the line he may hit his head bang his head though he has a helmet he will have an impact on his head so if this is the case that we are designing then our design has completely failed it's not only about the line which is overhead it is also about the line which are placed right above the ground if you do not provide a crossover of a line which is right below the ground the person may trip and he may fall and unfortunately if the person is at the higher altitude or higher elevation and the impact of falling is you know that the tremendous uh, there are tremendous possibility that he may loses life actually so safety is one of the primary factor so that is why there are specifications there are uh, uh, height requirements headroom clearance and uh, crossover requirements actually handrail provisions and safety doors for handrails and uh, the minimum space for uh, operability minimum space for um, i mean the the minimum width required for a platform these are all considered uh, to uh, enhance the safety for the piping design so safety is a key factor 
uh, you uh, being a design engineer my advice is that uh, first of all while designing we have to see whether is it safe enough to uh, design a plan safe enough to produce the design which will uh, enable the working professionals to work safely so this is should be this should be our first criteria as a piping designer just forget about the specification forget about the other requirements but being a design engineer we are named as a design engineer as a design engineer what is our important role our important role is to design something which is safe enough for somebody to work so being a piping design engineer at least we have to fulfill the requirements which are pertaining to piping design now let's go to the accessibility point of view imagine you have uh, two valves which are uh, one at the 1.8 uh, meter from the grade and other is at 2.2 uh, meter height actually do you think the person can access the valve and let's see that he is trying to access if his height is not permitting enough uh, to access the valve he may try to jump on the nearby uh, available uh, stand or pipe or anything so he may tend to fall from that level though the height of that level may be less but there will be a potential damage or injury to uh, the individual person who's trying to access these valves actually this is one case and another case is that say for an example if you have any um, i mean the manhole which is um, uh, over the equipment and you have not designed a platform right in front of it and you have designed a platform uh, which is away from the manhole do you think anybody can uh, access this manhole there are cases that after uh, designing the platform because i know the platform designing is not about a piping design yeah, but the input has to go from piping design engineers to evaluate because piping design engineers evaluates the nozzle orientations if you don't provide an enough space for any operator who can access the manhole access the instruments access the valves actually then the accessibility is not at all there which means there is no uh, uh, at no point of time that he can go near to this thing actually so during this uh, heat of engineering we may uh, forget because you have to focus on many things i do understand that but we should not miss out the key parameters actually see uh, there are cases that uh, which has uh, i have experienced like uh, if you have three parallel lines and you have three pa uh, valves which are placed in each one of these lines actually uh, the most design engineers tend to provide accessibility from one side considering that the operator can extend his hands but practically it may not be possible during the real time actually because during construction uh, we may not know that what could be the change because of various site issues so as long as your design is not safe and design is not uh, providing an enough space for accessibility then there is no point in complaining about or blaming about somebody else actually so what i could see is that platforms are provided to the first line so that the operator can only access to the first valve not the second valve or the third valve so what is the ideal way of doing it you should have a common platform above this line so that operator can access these valves you can even extend the handle of the um, uh, these valves into the uh, platform so that any operator who walks over the platform can access it actually so there are multiple ways in providing but this has to have a sense of understanding a strong sense of understanding only then you will be able to feel and you will be able to visualize and you will be able to produce the right design see there are cases that uh, say for an example the instruments uh, i have seen the uh, pressure indicators which are placed um, uh, over the line which is uh, not allow the operator to visibly see what is the reading is about pressure indicators are placed over the line to read the pressure if you have placed this pressure indicator which is at the level of 4 meter or 5 meter do you think any operator can see the uh, readings you cannot see the first thing is that you have to provide a platform or at least you have to bring the line in such a elevation that they can visibly see and read the readings so these are functionally about the accessibility so what is about operability so i'm little confused about safety accessibility and operability imagine uh you have um, uh, like uh, you have uh, two set of valves actually which is placed near to each other and the first valve the operator goes and uh, tries to um, what do you call turn the valve handle but while turning the valve handle 
he understood that his hands are hitting the handle of the near valve which is placed right close to it though he has an accessibility for both of these valves but he is not able to operate uh, with a full accessible i mean full comfort actually see when an operator uh, rotates the handle of the wheel we we should have an enough space clearance so that he will not hit on any other nearby instrument or valves or any other any other nearby piping this should be the primary goal it's not about providing an inaccessibility just keeping everything right in front of the operator as long as you don't have a space for an operator to uh, what do you call uh, access the valve handle and rotate the valve handle then there is no point of providing the space at all you have to have an enough space for him so that he will not hit anywhere this is one cases and other cases i have seen that the lines are placed above the grade above the just about the ground level with a minimum clearance imagine 20 inch line which are placed just above the grade with minimum ground clearance during the construction the construction engineers are not able to uh, insert the tools to unbolt or bolt the the bolts and stud bolts and nuts so basically what we have to do we have to provide some space in order for the uh, whoever the constructors and workers can access these bolts to unlock and lock it but if you do not have the space then how do we expect them to um, operate it so it is about an operability so whenever you are designing you have to have an operable space especially control valves most of us provide control valves accessibility and operability space right in front of it but we also have to understand that the space also required behind it because control valves has lots of instruments across i mean around this control valve and actuator body that instrument engineers has to act uh, change some settings uh, over this instruments and operator has to read and fine tune these settings actually in order to functionally operate the line so space which is required for the both side of the control valve is must we should not forget it actually so operable space is something which that is required for operation sir i do not know about operation so how do i ensure that uh, i have provided an operable space or not you have to speak to your experienced person or your senior person or your manager whoever guides you to um, uh, for with the design because i truly understand being a fresher being a beginner you may not be able to understand certain requirements because this needs a level of experience right from construction right from uh, the the in depth uh, design experience and right from operation ideas so there are several scenarios that you have to consider for that definitely you have to take an input from your seniors that will help you to develop the uh, perfect design considering the human factor engineer and one more other case say for an example if you are providing a platform generally a platform should have one exit and one entry because that is actually for the uh, safety purpose actually so if you are providing a platform with only one exit and suddenly something happens the the person who are uh, on top of the platform has to get down they will not have provision to get down because the first person can get down what about the second person he has to wait and experience the hazard so do you think there will be a time for him to just wait to allow first person to get down and second person to get down until and unless the last person can experience the uh, hazard uh, the potential hazard or any dangers in case of fire we can consider no it's not possible so safety accessibility and operability these are primary factors and these are known as human factor engineering so these are not uh, as simple as we think but these are crucial design parameters imagine you have finalized your design and finally found that there is no accessibility there is no operable space you cannot change the design because if you have to change the design you have to go back to the previous changes because there are other lines and other equipments which are already placed near to it so the magnitude of change will be huge so please consider though it appears to be so simple but you have to consider safety accessibility and operability i don't want to bring about the other factors such as cost constructability maintenance and those are the part of design but as far as human factor engineering is about we have to consider these factors safety accessibility and operability hope this video
has provided at least a little amount of knowledge in order to enhance your piping design skills actually. I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.